prepared here the cobalt chloride solution one can see the color of the cobalt chloride it is red because we have added it in the water when it is dried it will turn in blue color we will soak these blotting papers in cobalt chloride solution and after drying these papers will be used for detecting the rate of transpiration these are dry cobalt chloride paper which appears to be blue when it comes in contact with moisture it turns to red this property we will use to determine the rate of transpiration we will need one healthy plant which is growing well and which is well irrigated so we will elect, select three different plants so this is a artocarpus heteropilus plant so what we will do we will place these two paper strips on the leaf one on upper epidermis and one on lower epidermis and then we will cover it by a glass slide and we will tie it with the help of a rubber band so in this way we have covered the upper epidermis by cobalt chloride paper and then it is covered by a glass slide and tied it um, with the help of a rubber band in the same fashion on the back side also here we have put the cobalt chloride paper and one slide so we will keep this experimental setup for about uh, 10 minutes and then we will observe the rate of transpiration so exactly about 15 minutes are over now let us see what happened to this cobalt chloride paper this is upper epidermis uh, we can see here that the paper which is present outside the slide it is a decolorized it is pink uh, maybe due to the moisture in the atmosphere but the paper which is covered by the slide remained blue that means the transpiration rate or moisture rate is comparatively less or negligible on the upper epidermis now let us see what happens on the lower epidermis so on lower epidermis okay here we can see that the paper which is covered by the slide it turned pink completely okay the paper which is present outside the leaf margin it remained blue on inside the slide uh, because there is no water no moisture but the paper which is present on lower epidermis and covered by the slide turned pink due to the higher rate of transpiration this clearly indicate that the rate of transpiration on upper epidermis is less as compared to rate of transpiration present on lower epidermis and we have seen that in dicot plants like as this one the number of stomata are more on lower epidermis okay the number of stomata are more on lower epidermis as compared to number of stomata present on upper epidermis so whatever transpiration is occurring through upper epidermis is considered as a cuticular transpiration and we can see here that the cuticular transpiration is less now the stomata are more on lower epidermis so the transpiration which is occurring through lower epidermis is considered as stomatal transpiration and it is clear that the stomatal transpiration is more than the cuticular transpiration so in this way by using cobalt chloride paper we can determine we can compare the rate of transpiration that is the rate of stomatal transpiration and rate of cuticular transpiration thank you